What if your entire body and everything you experience exists only as a projection from the edge of the universe? That's the startling idea behind the holographic shadow theory, which suggests that our 3D reality might actually be a kind of cosmic illusion. According to this concept, everything in the universe, including space, time, matter, and even consciousness, could be encoded on a distant 2D surface, much like a hologram. Just as a holographic sticker creates a 3D image from a flat surface, the physical world we see might emerge from hidden information stored on the cosmic boundary. In this model, your body is not what it seems. It's a shadow cast by data from the farthest reaches of the universe. But how could such a bizarre idea be scientifically grounded? Surprisingly, it finds support in black hole physics. In the 1970s, physicist Jacob Bekenstein discovered that the information inside a black hole is not proportional to its volume, but to the surface area of its event horizon. This inspired the idea that maybe the entire universe works the same way, that the information content of all space is encoded on its boundary. Analogy, it's like watching a 3D movie. The story feels real, but it's actually coming from a 2D screen. If the holographic principle holds true, everything we know may be a projection, not from within, but from the cosmic edge where the true script of reality is written. How can our richly textured three-dimensional experience of reality emerge from information encoded on a distant two-dimensional cosmic boundary? According to the holographic principle, born from insights into black hole thermodynamics and the ADS slash CFT correspondence, Every bit of information inside a volume of space can be represented by degrees of freedom on its boundary surface. Holographic shadow theory takes this a step further, proposing that our entire universe might be a projection of data inscribed on the cosmological horizon, rendering our bodies and surroundings as shadows cast by two-dimensional information. If valid, this idea upends our conventional notion of dimensions and suggests that space itself is an emergent phenomenon rather than fundamental. So far, so good, until we confront the paradoxical implications for locality and causality. In a truly holographic universe, events that appear spatially distant in three dimensions could, at the level of the boundary, be adjacent bits of information blurring the line between here and there. This raises thorny questions about how signals propagate, how entanglement is mediated, and whether the speed of light limit is simply a feature of our emergent description rather than a fundamental bound. Reconciling these tensions demands a radical rethinking of what it means for two particles to be separate and challenges the bedrock principle that interactions must occur within local neighborhoods of space-time. At even smaller scales, the theory encounters the challenge of encoding geometry in discrete bits of information. The Bekenstein bound and related entropy area relationships imply that each Planck area patch on the boundary can hold only a finite amount of information. Translating this sparse coding into the smooth curvature, forces, and particle fields we observe requires an elaborate mapping, one that must recover the full richness of quantum field theory plus general relativity in our bulk. Any mismatch in this mapping could manifest as subtle violations of expected physics, yet to date no such anomalies have been unequivocally detected in particle experiments or cosmological observations. And then there is the matter of empirical testability. If our world is indeed a holographic projection, we should observe specific deviations from standard predictions, perhaps in the fine-scale noise of interferometer readings, unexpected correlations in cosmic microwave background fluctuations, or novel dispersion relations at ultra-high energies. Experiments like GEO 600 and proposals to detect holographic jitter have so far yielded no definitive signal leaving the hypothesis tantalizing but unconfirmed. Without clear observational evidence, holographic shadow theory remains an elegant mathematical framework awaiting an experimental foothold. Ultimately, the holographic shadow theory paradox invites us to question the very substrate of reality. It suggests that what we perceive as three-dimensional solidity might be an emergent illusion, a shadow play cast by fundamental bits inscribed at the edge of the cosmos. Whether this vision proves true or not, grappling with its implications pushes the frontiers of physics, 
forcing us to refine our understanding of space, information, and the deep unity between gravity and quantum mechanics. The holographic shadow theory proposes that everything we experience in three dimensions, including our own bodies, is a projection of information encoded on a two-dimensional cosmic boundary. In this framework, the universe functions like a vast hologram where the real data reside on the edge and manifest as three-dimensional phenomena. This challenges our everyday intuition that space and matter are intrinsically volumetric. It suggests that depth, solidity, and even biological processes are emergent illusions cast from the universe's perimeter. In black hole physics, the holographic principle implies that all information swallowed by the whole is stored on its two-dimensional event horizon. It is like watching a lifelike 3D movie projected from a 2D film reel. Everything you see appears three-dimensional, but originates from a flat surface. Classical physics assumes that the information content of a region of space scales with its volume, so more space means more bits of data. The holographic principle, by contrast, asserts that the maximum information in a volume actually scales with the area of its boundary surface. This reversal implies that all the details inside a region can be fully described by data on its edges. It overturns the conventional view of how spatial degrees of freedom work in our universe. The Bekenstein bound limits the entropy inside a sphere by its surface area, not its volume. It is like realizing that the number of pages in a book is determined not by how thick it is, but by the area of its cover. In holographic dualities such as ad slash CFT, a quantum field theory on a two-dimensional boundary encodes a higher dimensional gravitational space-time in its entanglement structure. Entanglement between boundary degrees of freedom effectively stitches together the bulk geometry, giving rise to the illusion of depth. Thus, space-time and its contents emerge from purely quantum informational relationships on the surface. This shows how our three-dimensional experience can be a shadow cast by two-dimensional entanglement patterns. The Ryotakianagi formula relates the entanglement entropy of a boundary region to the area of a minimal surface in the bulk. It is like a tapestry woven from threads in two dimensions that appears as a textured 3D relief when backlit. Black hole thermodynamics taught us that a horizon's entropy and thus its information capacity is proportional to its surface area. Extending this concept to the entire universe implies that the cosmic horizon similarly stores all physical information. The bulk of space, including particles and fields, arises from this encoded boundary data via a holographic mapping. Consequently, what we perceive as lifelike structures are mere shadows projected inward from the cosmic edge. The area law for black hole entropy, SA slash 4LP2, suggests that information is fundamentally a surface phenomenon. It is like reading only the cover of every book in a library, yet somehow reconstructing their entire contents as an immersive virtual library. Ted Jacobson showed that Einstein's equations of general relativity can be derived from thermodynamic relations at local horizons, hinting that gravity itself is an emergent, entropic force. If space-time dynamics follow from entropy changes on holographic screens, then three-dimensional gravity is a shadow of two-dimensional thermodynamics. This change of viewpoint reframes gravity not as a fundamental interaction, but as a macroscopic manifestation of microscopic information flow. It reinforces the notion that our solid world is an emergent phenomenon. Jacobson's derivation uses the Clausius relation dq equals t ds at local Rindler horizons to recover Einstein's field equations. It is like understanding that the pressure you feel is not fundamental, but arises from countless molecular collisions in a gas. Quantum fluctuations on the holographic boundary generate tiny perturbations that propagate into the bulk as apparent particles and fields. These small two-dimensional variations manifest as the complex behaviors we attribute to matter, energy, and even biological processes. Thus, the solidity and continuity of objects, including living cells, emerge from underlying quantum noise on the cosmic edge. This paradoxically makes our everyday reality both robust and fundamentally insubstantial. Primordial quantum fluctuations on the horizon are believed to seed the large-scale structure seen in the cosmic microwave background. It is like sensing an entire orchestra's performance 
when at the source only discrete electronic signals are flickering on a holographic transmitter. If our bodies and minds are emergent shadows of boundary information, then perception itself is a reconstruction of holographic data by neural processes Conscious experience, memory, and self-awareness would be higher-order manifestations of patterns encoded in a distant two-dimensional layer. This raises profound questions about free will, identity, and the nature of life. It suggests that biology and consciousness are as much about information processing on the cosmic screen as they are about biochemistry. Some theorists speculate that neuronal information patterns correlate with holographic data streams in a yet unknown mapping. It is like believing that a video game character's thoughts and actions are entirely determined by code running on an external server. Detecting the universe's holographic nature requires measuring minute correlations or holographic noise that would betray the underlying two-dimensional encoding. Experiments such as the Fermilab holometer have searched for unexplained position jitter at Planckian scales, but so far found no definitive signal. Distinguishing genuine holographic effects from instrumental noise and conventional physics remains extremely difficult. Hence, the theory remains a bold speculation awaiting experimental confirmation. The holometer aimed to detect correlated fluctuations between two adjacent interferometers as evidence of holographic jitter. It is like trying to hear a single whispered conversation in a stadium full of cheering fans. Advances in quantum gravity research, high-precision interferometry, and cosmic surveys may one day reveal clear signatures of holographic encoding. Theorists are exploring new predictions, such as modified dispersion relations or anisotropies in cosmic backgrounds, that future instruments might detect. If confirmed, the holographic shadow theory would revolutionize physics, biology, and philosophy by recasting reality as emergent from a cosmic ledger. Ultimately, it would force us to redefine what we consider real and question whether our bodies are anything more than shadows at the edge of the cosmos. Proposed space-based interferometers aim to improve sensitivity to Planck scale effects by orders of magnitude. It is like calibrating a microscope powerful enough to reveal the quantum script behind the visible world.